Hi folks, welcome back. We're going to do another battery, battery experiment tonight, but uh, first I need to explain the experiment to you. After yesterday's uh, experiment, I realized that regulating the water in the cell is going to be one of the most difficult uh, tasks in uh, developing this cell. So, um, <clears throat> what I've done is, is drawn out a little diagram here to help me explain this. Now, if you've been following my videos for a while, you know that if we put the cell down in a glass of water, that uh, the cell drowns and just quits working, or actually it goes down to about one milliamp and that's it. And then, and we also know that if we take the cell and put it in inside of a plastic bag and close the bag off, that the cell will use up the oxygen in the bag and suffocate. And, and so it's and it's really the same cause is the oxygen deprivation that causes the cell to die on each one of those. Now we also know that too much water, of course, kills it, and we also know that. As the percentage of water in the cell drops, that the that the uh, amperage goes down on the cell, and the puzzling part is this voltage fluctuates up and down also, and I'm sure that part of that is because of the uh, the uh, water percentage dropping. If the because uh, we lose our amps first, and if it dries out even more, then we lose our volts too. So uh, it's at least partially because of the uh, the percentage of water. Now, in a cell, in a biological cell, the cell solves this cell water regulation problem by having little pores all the way uh, around the membrane in, in the cell, and that provides a sheltered environment for the cell reactions to take place, and also allows uh, the cell to pull in water and, and oxygen and, and things from, uh, from outside the cell that it needs. And so, since this cell is about as organic as you can get, uh, I'm going to use a, try to use the same approach here uh, in this experiment. So what I'm going to do is build a cell and use uh, the PVA and alcohol uh, to make a membrane around the, the complete membrane around the, the paper separator in it with the titanium dioxide and graphite on it. And of course, when the alcohol evaporates, uh, it, I've already got the membrane over here, as a matter of fact, made. See, I've got graphite on this side, titanium dioxide on this side. I've got PVA and alcohol that I coated the, both sides with. And uh, see, nothing comes off, so it's, it's in there pretty good. And uh, the alcohol has evaporated, left little pores in the PVA. That should let in the let in the water and oxygen that the cell needs. So, uh, so that's what we're going to do. So let me get set up, and I'll be back, and then we'll we'll test this and see how it does. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and I'm set up to test this idea. And here's the separator paper that I've got, and this is a piece of uh, shipping paper, which is the uh, a little thinner than typing paper and uh, it has um, about the same uh, pore uh, size I believe but uh, so I'm using a piece of that and I took uh, some graphite and went a cotton ball and I rubbed it into one side to get it down into paper good and then I took a coat of uh, graphite and painted it on there and let that dry and then I took some uh, PVA glue and alcohol and uh, and thin down with a little bit of water and then I painted that on there and let that dry and then on this side I uh, painted just straight titanium dioxide and water on there first and then I took uh, a thin uh, PVA and titanium dioxide and uh, alcohol and painted on that and that's dry and this thing's been drying for uh, 24 hours so it's really dry and uh, I'm, I'm not going to use the uh, stainless steel mesh on this one uh, because I want to compare it to the same to the results that we got using the graph oil with the copper back on it. So we're going to do that. So I'm just going to I think I'll just dip it down in the this is distilled water. Just going to dip it down in there and get it wet.
pretty good soak there. And hopefully this will give a more even regulation of the water and we'll see how we do. Alright, let's slip it on the electrode. Okay. This is just a piece of graphol, copper tape backing on it. And let's see what we got. And we have 96 in dropping. Alright. Sort it out and see what kind of milliamps we got. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 15.9. Well, that's right in the ballpark of what we were getting. I think the best we've ever got is 23 or 25 or something like that. Self charges. Well, it's only have to go to 96 not real fast. I should have made this upside down so that the uh, metal plate held this together better. Alright, let's do it one more time and see if it's any different. Three, two, one. Twenty-one that time. Voltage dropped some, but I, I tested it where it slowed down pretty pretty far and our amps dropped and jumped to uh, 21 from 15 so it's the same behavior might have to redo this and flip it over but I can keep a fairly good pressure on it All right, this time we're back to our 82 still climbing but I think we tested it last time at 86 so uh, which would be 90 percent of what it started at. So we'll do that here again too. On a fairly steady climb. Let's see if it goes how fast it goes above 96 or 86. Still on a pretty steady. So here's, it looks like it's on the rebound already on the voltage. Alright, so we'll hit it at uh, maybe we'll wait to 89. It's going to look like it's going to get there easy. Now it's starting to slow down just a little bit. Well, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, we'll do it at 89. Alright, there it is. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 30 that time. Yeah. Climbing pretty fast. So, that looks like it's working pretty good. Let's see how we're back up to 80. And it looks like the recharge speed is speeding up. So whatever structural changes are taking place in there, they're, they're taking place fairly quickly, it looks like. We'll do it one more time to see uh, see if it goes above 30. Still not a fairly quick climb on. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. 32 that time. Still going up, but not as as fast. Lower uh, lower increases, smaller increases. All right, so that's pretty good actually for just titanium dioxide and uh, water now what I want to do is I've got a little bit of I want to try some alkaline materials on there I've been wanting to do this experiment for a long time and I've never got around to it so I'm going to do it now 
Um, but I'm going to put a little bit of uh, hydrated lime on there as a uh, and see what that does. It's kind of settled out in there, so uh, don't need a whole lot, I guess. Right, so we're just going to paint a little of that on the electrode. Remember, hydrophilic and alkaline surfaces are the ones that produce the best uh, exclusion zones and therefore the most power. So we should see a power increase out of this. Alrighty, so we'll put it back together like that. Yeah. Whoa! Look at our voltage went up to 1.31 volts. Now there's there's a good sign, huh? Just by adding some alkaline uh, material to it. All right, so we're at one point, and it's uh, looks like it's climbing slowly. So we're at 1.318. We'll test it at 1.32. How about that? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Thirteen. It's actually lower. But the voltage went up. The amps are uh, a bigger, bigger, more important than the voltage. I like the, the the higher voltage of that, but it really hurt the amps on it, and so it did more damage than uh, than it helped. I'm sure. All right, so uh, that's it for this one. I'm sure. And so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.